Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the food of modern industry, chips have always been an industry that all countries in the world value. As the birthplace of semiconductor chips, the United States was the first to invent integrated circuits and transistors. After so many years of development, American technology has long penetrated into all aspects of the global chip industry chain. Even semiconductor companies such as chip foundry giants TSMC, Samsung, and lithography giant ASML have more or less used some American technology and equipment. So it is no exaggeration to say that in the field of semiconductor chips, the United States has always occupied a dominant position. Huawei has fallen and returned again. Although the emergence of Huawei's Kirin chip is like a sharp blade, it has stabbed into the heart of American chip companies, making them feel the threat from the eastern big country companies for the first time, especially Qualcomm. Huawei at its peak could directly beat it. However, the strong rise of Huawei's Kirin chip not only touched the core interests of American chip companies, but Huawei's 5G also shook the hegemony of the United States in the communications industry. Therefore, in order to consolidate its hegemony, the United States has launched comprehensive sanctions against Huawei since 2019. First, the US made a big fuss about the entity list, then forced the chip supply rules to be modified, and finally single-handedly concocted the 5G security backdoor incident. This series of sanctions directly hit Huawei hard. Not only did its mobile phone and 5G businesses suffer a huge impact, but it also fell into an embarrassing situation of no chips available, which can be said to be shocking. With the fall of Huawei, Qualcomm and Apple became the biggest beneficiaries, and their market share in China also began to recover rapidly, which was simply helpless. However, what the United States never expected was that, thanks to its unremitting efforts and indomitable spirit, Huawei successfully achieved a breakthrough in just three years and returned with the Kirin chip at the end of August last year. The Mate 60 series equipped with the Kirin chip was also in short supply. It is worth mentioning that according to data disclosed by the media, in the first quarter of this year, Huawei returned to the top of the domestic smartphone market with a 17% share, while Apple directly fell out of the top five, which can be said to be terrible. The production capacity of Chinese chips ushered in a big explosion, and American companies collectively broke through. In fact, in addition to the strong return of Huawei Kirin chips, China's chip industry has also seen frequent explosions this year. For example, in the first quarter of this year, China's chip production capacity reached 98 billion chips, a year-on-year -year increase of 40%, while the amount of imported chips fell by about 25%, which means that the output and self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips are constantly rising. What is even more exciting is that according to the latest data from the National Bureau of Statistics, China's cumulative production of chips in the first half of this year was 207.11 billion chips, a year-on-year -year surge of 28.9%. According to this number, China produces 1.15 billion chips every day. It has to be said that this is another big explosion of China's chips. In fact, there are two crucial reasons why the output and self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips have exploded so quickly. One is the support of the government and domestic companies and the other is the efforts of mainland chip manufacturers. As we all know, 
Since Huawei was sanctioned, domestic companies have embarked on the road of self-research and have been continuously reducing the number of imported chips. For example, most of the computers, TVs and new energy vehicles have been replaced with domestic chips. There is no doubt that this has become a powerful boost to accelerate the localization of chips. In addition, as the largest chip manufacturer in the mainland, SMIC has also made strong efforts in recent years. It has not only invested hundreds of billions of yuan to build four wafer fabs in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Tianjin, but also gradually realized the localization of its business. According to data, SMIC's current monthly production capacity has exceeded 800,000 wafers, and the proportion of orders from Chinese companies has reached 81%. It can be said that it has completely gotten rid of its dependence on orders from American companies. Not only that, with the explosion of chip production capacity, China's demand for lithography machines is also increasing. It is reported that China has imported a total of about 88 lithography machines in the first half of this year, and has once again become ASML's largest customer. In fact, China has made frequent breakthroughs in the field of lithography machines in recent years. For example, Harbin Institute of Technology has mastered the three core technologies of EUV lithography machines, and Shanghai Microelectronics has also conquered the key technologies of 28 nanometers lithography machines, which are currently being tested. Once China achieves self-sufficiency in low- and medium-end lithography machines, it will also get rid of its dependence on ASML in the future and establish its own complete semiconductor chip industry chain. As the saying goes, without scars, there is no thick skin. Heroes have always suffered many hardships. Although the sanctions imposed by the United States on Huawei and other Chinese companies in recent years have caused severe damage to China's semiconductor chip industry, this has also further stimulated China to embark on the road of self-research. Otherwise, China's chips would not have risen so fast. Now Huawei's Kirin chip has returned strongly and the self-sufficiency rate and production capacity of domestic chips are also soaring. I believe that it will not be long before China can completely break the blockade and achieve the goal of 70% localization of chips. The Chinese chip will inevitably rise strongly. Please like if you agree.